In this video, I'm just going to take a look at the damage that was inflicted on my car at uh, Brands Hatch at the uh, race a few weeks ago. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work because uh, it's rather noisy here, but um, we've this is obviously first weekend we're at Brands Hatch and um, the car's been good except for I've had a bit of a bump. I'll show you. So this is the dent in the panel. Uh, what happened was I was going, um, I'd, I'd overtaken a guy or, or got alongside him at Druids, which is a hairpin. We went round the hairpin together. As we got just past the apex, he turned across me and just hit me in the side. You notice in the video after the um, he hit me, the car, there was a bang, 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 bang. That was me riding over the curb. Um, it's particularly high um, on the inside of Druids and you can see what it's done here. There isn't any uh, distortion to the front subframe, but you can see it's taken quite a beating. And as you can see, it's done some damage to the plastic underneath. This is the piece that goes underneath the front of the radiator and so it seals the air into the front of the radiator but luckily it's still effectively sealing that air so that's not such a problem. You can also see that it's done a bit of damage to um, the anti-roll bar bush um, mounting. It, he caught the bumper, the front bumpers and pulled it away. Uh, the guys uh, tie wrapped it, um, you know, cable tied it back on here. Um, so that it all held together uh, but um, the other thing that you can't really see here is if you go further around the wheel arch it's slightly distorted that and if you I've banged that back to straighten it out but that makes it pop out further at the front so I need to relieve that pressure where the dent is something on his car also sliced through one of my tires so as you can see I had to stop in the pits to get a tire change which pretty much did for my race one other bit of bodywork damage was that it didn't break the headlight but it broke a, a bracket that holds the headlight in place and um, one of the benefits of uh, having 4040 support me was they had a spare headlight assembly and they just swapped it out so um, that was uh, good for the uh, next race. Aside from the body work that, okay, it's slightly cosmetic. It doesn't look too bad from a distance actually. And I think I can straighten that out. The bigger issue was you can see this uh, control arm that goes from the subframe out to the bottom of the wheel carrier um, and controls the camber. These are, these are M3 versions of the uh, control arm because it gives us more negative camber. Um, you can see it's ground, <laughs> ground it away as it's uh, gone over the curbing and what have you. I, uh, so this is pretty bad, but I did race with this actually. I did a 90 minute race on the following day with this like this. Um, we did string the car on Saturday afternoon and it was completely straight despite this damage. So that was quite good. They're really tough. I know I keep saying this. They're tough little cars. They can really take some hammering. Here are the costs of the repairs, excluding the body panel um, repair. I would like to uh, get the body panels done, or that front wing, and I will try and beat it a bit straight. But uh, as you can see, this is a picture actually after the accident, and it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I hope you found that interesting and I'll catch you on the next one.